Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Crusader Kings 2. So I'm sure everybody is excited for what the research team has found on the weird stack wipe thing that has happened. Unfortunately, unlike the mecha thing where we had the really weird thing happen and people were able to search out across the entire internet and figure it out reasonably fast, uh, nobody knows what happened. Um, so this, so here's, here's what we found. Um, one guy, one fucking guy said, I had it happen to me once ever when I was playing. And at the time I had it happen, I thought it was because of low morale, but your morale wasn't low. So I have no idea why it happened. Great. So there's one other human who had it and he doesn't know why either. And then the guy who's like the best of the research department, I like to call him Philip Bates. He's always, you can always find him in the comment section on the Crusader King stuff. And he's like deep dives on the wiki and stuff. He can always find stuff. He wasn't able to figure it out either. Um, he thought a knit first. He, he didn't. I, I think he was confused that the, the problem we were wondering about is the stack wipe because that's literally not a mechanic in the game. Uh, so we're trying to figure out what happened. Uh, so he made these big paragraphs breaking down like how all the troops work and everything and why we lost the fight. And he basically said, it's your your light infantry just got mopped up by their light cavalry. And he put out the time codes and he's like, you had only 300 cavalry. He had over 2,000. You had like 4,000 light infantry. Like that was your problem. That's how you lost. To which I, I then had to reply to him and say, but, but he has 4,000 light infantry. I have 2,000 light cavalry. Like you're looking at the wrong sides of the fight. And then he responds, he's like, oh, shit, like, the, sorry, the actual results screen doesn't show which side is which. So the game is so confusing that even, like, the head of the research department, he himself got really confused and got turned around on it, which... And that's right after he broke down how all the math works on the units, which makes it even more confusing that he broke down the math and said, I should have won. He just got confused which side was which. So that's, that's even more confusing. But on top of that, even with him looking into that, we still weren't able to figure out what the stack wipe thing was, um, where it, it dismissed the army. That's the most confusing part. Everybody didn't die. The people who died in the fight died. And then everybody else, instead of retreating like every other battle in the entire game, they got dismissed? Like, I was able to immediately re-raise them like it's a levy. That just, you know, they just pop up in their counties and they can re-congregate. Because when we went to the military tab, they were there. So the only ones who died were the ones who actually died during the course of the battle. I saw one guy theorize that maybe it had something to do with uh, how some of their flanks are treated and my center are treated around the same time. So the game might not have known who won. And as some kind of weird side effect, my troops were just dismissed. The best theory literally any of us have so far is just the game got really confused. And then it might not be a glitch so much as just an unintended consequence of an insanely rare thing happening. And that's why nobody was able to even Google and find the answer. One other guy we were able to find on the fucking internet has had this happen. And it was under such different circumstances that his only theories to why it happened didn't apply to our situation. So the answer is nobody knows. <laughs> Crusader Kings 2. This is why I say it's a game of weird obscure rules. However, however, we have a lot of prestige now. I don't even remember getting above 2,500, um, but it we're above that. And that's the number that you guys were telling me that an empire is able to get the, um, the goal to start a bloodline. So we're going to stop grooming an heir and we're going to switch to that. And you guys fucked me. God damn it. <laughs> Whoever gave me that number was apparently wrong. Have you sent this information to Paradox? No, I, I don't even know how to. You guys can if you want to. Uh, all right, I'm just going to put it right back to Groom and Air then. What we want is create a bloodline so we can make 10 cities and get that bloodline because that's the bl bloodline that we want. 
So we might actually just have the worst luck in human history. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, apparently our men were just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going home. I give up. <laughs> you need 5k plus. Okay. We'll wait until we get there. How much are we getting a month? 11 and a half almost. Okay, might be a while. And we're almost 30. We may not do it in our lifetime. We'll see. We're going to try and save up as much money as we have, aside from just getting our retinue. So... As you can see, our retinue, it's nearly, once it actually regenerates, it'll be nearly as good as our old one. In fact, the trip quality will be a little bit higher. Um, overall. But it, it'll it take a little while to get there, and we're gonna have uprisings in the meantime, because we always do. It's our fourth Slavic Carpathian uprising. Uh, it's not many troops. I'm not worried. There we go. We'll just have the Vasilevis do it. You know, I just stared at a bloodline, and the bloodline is very powerful indeed. I feel like the very specific way you worded that was probably a meme that I don't know. However, people were telling me that if I build any cities now... I'm rich! It's payday, fellas! People were telling me that if I build any cities now, it won't count towards the bloodline until I've started that goal. And I feel like some people confirmed that. Thanks for the $5 there, Dr. Hans, and also thank you for following. Welcome to the flock. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, we built that, that wall right here, right? Because we're going to be investing a lot in this. Some of the things that I'm willing to do, by the way... We're trying to save up most of our money, but I am willing to get money upgrading stuff in this county. Also, got to dump more money in the campaign fund again. God damn. We've got a thousand ducats on the campaign fund right now, which I'm really not happy with having to spend that much, but... If it's what we've got to do, it's it's what we've got to do. Okay, get rid of them. Defeat? What? But they died! Our 2,000 troops lost to their 700 troops, but then we didn't lose and they died. Okay, game's being weird. Okay. Let's... Look, I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> Chat. Game's being weird. You can start already building the cities. I did the bloodline too. So you can build cities before you've started the bloodline and they will count towards it. Do you know that for sure? Because if so, I will do it. <laughs> I agree with the check. Game needs coffee. What the fuck is going on? The game is crying. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on anymore. All right, our capital got its port. That's nice. That's tax income. We need that. What the fuck is going on? The game is just throwing a hissy fit. What the fuck? Game's on a drug, <laughs> drug trip. Go home, CK2, you're drunk. Jesus Christ, guys. There's some weird shit going on. Is this a creepypasta? Move him. Lead the center. Is this a creepypasta? Is the game haunted? I think the game might be haunted. The game has no mouth and it must scream. This is it, the game's creative way of expressing itself. I think my game is haunted. Can anyone confirm? Can anyone? All right, research team. I need you guys to all go out and Google. Um, can the game be haunted? Has it been patched lately? Ah, like a month ago. CK2, though, is like a game of the most obscure rules in human history, though. So I don't know. King of Bohemia. He owns a lot of weird land. I'm not gonna imprison him. He's actually a really powerful vassal, and he likes me. I don't like that he's tribal. What's his capital? Right there? Upgrade that shit. I'd drop the money on it to start upgrading it for him, but I kinda need to save my money. I also need to give away a little bit of land again. What do I have that's worth giving away? What's worth the least? This? Oh, I have a random castle in there. There. Help my money roll in by not being above my uh, domain limit. 
There we go. We really, really need money. Our rent new upkeep is very expensive at the moment, even with organizing the army, and we need to dump more on our campaign fund again. God damn. Oof. I'm sure. Um, before I started the bloodline, I built two temples, and those were counted for the bloodline. Same as the kills. Thank you very much, then. That is good to know. I will start... There is a random chunk of, of Ireland above me. That is true, Little Root. Huh. Anyway. I, I will get started on cities soon, then. We, we want to make sure we have campaign money and, like, military money and stuff, but... I will get started on that earlier, then. It's time to really develop the lands. Let's get cities built. Wiki doesn't specify if you need to build the cities in your lifetime or only when the bloodline uh, ambition starts. Yeah, I'm gonna go with what, um, I can never pronounce the Dutch guy's name and I feel bad because the name is in Dutch and it's a difficult language for me. But I'm gonna go with what he said because he's got hands-on experience for it and bloodlines are pretty new so it's unlikely that that has gotten changed. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and guess he's probably right on that one. Okay, uh, Legendary Nick... I really need you to get struggle education because I need commanders and we have not had any luck bringing in foreign commanders. Like, look at these picks. These are just the shits. And so I'm going to just try and take who I'm going to try and like get my own. All right. We can change the law again. We don't have loyalists though, do we? We have two loyalists. We need more. We only need one more, though. Can we get a new rabbi? Can we get a loyalist rabbi? Because... Oh, here we go. This guy might be a loyalist. I'm gonna make him like me more, too. Because that does increase the chance of a loyalist by a lot. Yeah, switch to him. He's a better rabbi anyway. There we go. We have three loyalists, and then we have four people who will vote against me, but, on a, but I'm voting for it myself. And on a tie, I win. I can call you Simon. I'll call you Simon. Uh, on a tie, King wins. So we can do another one of these votes. Thank God. Okay. I'm not thrilled about voting on banishment or execution. Maria. However, um, Maria. Thanks for following, Cheese Ninja. However, any laws that I can get in my favor on this will get me closer to abolishing the fucking council. The empowered council. And I need to abolish that. I wouldn't also mind going for another level of centralization to bring my domain limit up by one more. Because I'm actually okay on my vassal limit. Who'd fight me on that? Basically no one. One guy might fight me on it, but I would win. However, I don't really desperately need one more place. Whereas I do need to unempower the council really badly. All right, I'll vote on execution. I've never had someone fight me on either of these. So I'll, I'll do that. It just seems like the thing people are more likely to fight me on. Alright, so I should win this. There's no favors, and I have a bunch of loyalists stacking the deck. There we go. Approved. Next law can be changed on uh, 900 and year 915. Five years. There we go. We passed another law getting us closer to removing the uh, horrible empowered council. Nice. Okay. And let me remind myself on how our tech is going here. I wouldn't mind going another trade practice. Another construction is tempting to get better tech going for the hospital. I want to do a lot of these upgrades, but again, they're so expensive and we should be using that money on cities. We really, really need to fucking kill this guy already. Not, not that guy. I mean, this guy. We've been trying to kill him forever. It's He has the most respect by far compared to any of our other people we have to deal with. And so I want him dead so we can have more of the money from our campaign fund be actually advancing the country. Also, we need to save up a little bit because our house is uh, about to finish the palace upgrade, which will increase our levy by a lot, our money by a lot, our trade post limit by a lot. Market Town done. And Wolgast? Oh, that place. Okay. That place is still looted, so the money's still not the best, but we're trying to get it better. Is there any way to use tech to help build up the money? I'm still new to CK2. Yes. Um, tech is a great way to get rich, in fact, through mostly construction, saves money, 
Um, improved keeps will get you new walls and different infrastructures will get you to different, um, you know, castle towns and stuff like that that increases your income. Uh, great, the rabbi, uh, the rabbi has been charging money when he shouldn't be. I don't want to get rid of him because he is a loyalist. So I'm going to say disappointing but understandable. Temple vassals won't like me. And that sucks, but whatever. And also a place prospers. Nice. Okay, how's the vassal, or has uh, the retinue looking passable? Um, I'm just tabbing in through everything. Okay, we're paying less on retinue upkeep because some of them have maxed out. What? Ah, great. A siege port. One of our siege, or one of our ports got sieged in uh, Byzantium. Nothing we can really do about that. That really sucks. I hope they don't end up destroying the whole thing. Because we had to pay money to make that. What's your favorite country to play as in CK2? I do not have a favorite country to play as in CK2. It's not the kind of game where every individual country is super, super different. Uh, I want you to kill Duke of who? No. I'm not getting wrapped up in that shit. Palace done. Nice. Um, so my vassals have made an alliance. That's fine. Palace done, though. That'll really increase my income. I don't know if that's updated yet. Known murderer. Annoyed religious authority. Okay. Uh, has my trade post limit went up? There we go. We can have three more trade posts. That's really nice. Preferred region to play in. Uh, no preference. All right, there we go. So we can make three more trade posts now, which is really nice. Also, if we look at our troop count, we're gonna have more personal troops, not by a ton though, just because as many, as much as we have a lot of levy increases, um, we don't actually have a whole lot of levy for that apl to apply to in the first place. The tax income from the palace has doubled because of that though, which is huge. You can build trade posts on the Silk Road, that is true, but we are so far away from the Silk Road that we can't. So, we, we can't. Otherwise, I gladly would. We could save up a little money and get that upgrading again to get another huge increase of trade posts. Honestly, I think I want to. Have you ever done an India campaign? No. Alright, get building a trade post right here so we can get more out of this whole trade node. Then, one of our people has one there already. Okay. All right, uh, lost our steward. That's a shame. Backup is 12. No, uh, I will not take him. I would like this guy with a skill of 22. Which one of these two is better? This one is trusting. He could end up being a loyalist. We'll take him. I'd rather trusting. Having a good steward is really important. I don't like that guy, but he's immediately leaving. And bribe him for 15. That's cheap. He'll probably end up being a pragmatist. Put him in the capital. And he is a pragmatist. That's fine. Still, he's a talented steward. That's what matters the most. We're making decent money. Silver Passover. No, thank you. All right, that's still getting built. This place is still dealing with being looted. Although it won't be for s too much longer, hopefully. Port, town market, those are tempting. Hmm. There's so much I need money for right now. That's the real shame of it. Like, I wouldn't mind getting a university in the capital city. Economic technology points, quite a bit of it too. That's really good. I should be getting that. But it's almost a thousand ducats. It's more expensive than building another city in here. I think I should just be getting a head start on the city, to be honest. Sooner I get it, the sooner the mayor of that place can start developing it, and I start getting the tax income. So I think I will get that going right now. There. We have a city going in Stettin, the capital. Okay, raiders appeared right there, and they're immediately leaving. That's fine. They're probably getting afraid because... Are you walking straight back? Okay, when are they getting locked in? 
It doesn't tell me when they get locked in when they're walking off a boat. That's annoying. And they're just walking back. All right, I'll just cut them off here. And now they're just going to the capital, aren't they? Whatever. I'll end up cutting them off there. Easy. 